Hello, hello, and howdy! This is Teacher Jewel, and today we are looking at the Cranmer Abacus. Really, the Cranmer Abacus is a modified Japanese abacus, and it is modified to use with blind or visually impaired students. It has felt backing, so whenever the abacus is moved, the beads don't slide around. It also has these tactual marks here, so the kid can feel um, the place value. So some of the same terms that we do need to know are set and clear. So this is this is the counting bar here in the middle, the horizontal bar or the counting bar, which is different when we took a look, if you saw my beginner's abacus, it, this one does not have one, it just has the three columns. Still the ones, tens, hundreds, but this one goes on to thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and it keeps going. But this one has the counting bar, so whenever we set or clear, we are going either toward the counting bar or away from the counting bar. So these beads are set toward the counting bar, so the top one's down, the bottom one's up. Or if we clear, then we push the bottom beads down, the top beads up to clear it. So those are the terms that you mostly need to know for this lesson. All right, so let's count and then we will set some numbers. It is a zero right now because all the bar, blah, 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 all the beads are pushed away from the counting bar. I'm just going to hold it with my left hand. I'm not doing anything special over here. We will be working on this side of the abacus. So it's cleared it is at zero. Let's start counting. One, two, three, four. I'm out of beads. Let's go to the top. Use your index finger. Pull the five bead down and clear. And then that gives us five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm gonna er, 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 rewind. Let me tell you a little bit something about these beads up here. I call these the five beads. And that is because if I set this bead, that is five. If I set this bead in the 10 column, that's 50. 500, 5,000. So these top beads are called the five beads. All right, so let's go back to counting again. One, two, three, four. Five. So I pull that five bead down and in the same motion I'm bringing these four down with it and then I could keep counting six, seven, eight, nine. I'm out of beads. So we're going to make an exchange. Get your fingers ready like you're going to zoom in on a phone. You're going to place them on the counting bar and push them away and then set that ten bead. So let's do that again without me talking and counting only. Zero, one, two, three, four. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we could count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. So we're at 40, we're out of beads, we need to get to 50. So just like we did that four, five exchange, now we're gonna go from 40 to 50. So we're gonna put our finger here on this five bead in the tens column and bring it down all in one motion. Five bead down and these four beads also down. And that gives us a five, zero, 50. And then we could keep counting. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, we are out 100. 200, 300, 400. 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, and ladies and gentlemen, we just did this much of the card. And the reason that we are learning to count, by the way, is whenever you start doing addition, um, addition and subtraction, that will come in handy. Because right now you're thinking, why do I need to count? Because I could just set the numbers like we're about to do. That is why. So let's set 18. We know that that is a 1 in the tens column and an 8 in the ones column. So the counting method, we could start here. Let's just set the 10 bead for the 1 and then the 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, boom, 5, 6, 7, 8. I could do this, quote, shortcut instead and just set 18. That's a 1. I could start with my 5, 6, 7, 8 and we get 18. That's clear. Let's set 34. I probably need a harder number, but let's set it anyway. There's 34. There's no exchanges to be done, just 34. All right, let's, six, let's set 65. 
I could do the counting 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and then I could count to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, but instead I'm just going to start here, 50, 60, 5. Cool. All right, let's set 900 too. And I know that there's always, all the, all for every column, there's nine beads, right? This is the five, six, seven, eight, nine for each column. So when I set 900, I could just do that, except I got to do it the right one, the hundreds column. 900, zero, two. 900, two. All right, 630. So that's 500, 630. Got it, got it, got it. Now we're in the thousands column, so we're 4,000. So here we are, 4,700. So 5, 6, 7, 80. So 50, 60, 70, 80, 1. Easy peasy, right? That's that 9,705. So remember, 9,700. Leave that blank. Set my 5 bead. Boom. Done. Thanks, guys. I hope that helps.